If you want the best of the best from a DSLR, then you can't not be interested in Nikon's new D810. Sitting below the D4S and just above the D610, this rival to Canon's 5D Mark III is a seriously premium piece of kit. It's got a new sensor, an improved ISO rate, and HD video recording, which is far superior to the D800. Let's take a look at its three key features. Okay, so here are the Nikon D810's vital statistics. It's got a 36.3 FX CMOS sensor. It can shoot from five frames per second to seven frames per second with a DX crop. Its ISO range goes from 64 to 12800. It's got that all-important upgrade of an X-Speed 4 processor. It can shoot at 50 to 60 frames per second in 1080p HD video. And it's got a 3.2 inch LCD display with a 1229K dot resolution, which is an upgrade on a D800. Since the Nikon D800, Nikon has improved its sensor capabilities to create the X-Speed 4 processor, which is the successor to the X-Speed 3. Now adding the XP4 into this D810 means that it can take better quality images with more definition. And this is especially true for video as well, which will help when it's recording at 50 and 60 frames a second. And while we're on video, Nikon's added in a new flat profile feature, which will give you more dynamic range when you're in post-production, which is really useful if you're a videographer. The D810 comes with a brand new shutter system, which aside from being quieter than the D800, will allow for less vibrations in your shots, which is especially useful when you're taking close-ups and want as little distortion as possible. One other tidy new feature with the Nikon D810 is its RAW file S size, which allows you to have a smaller RAW file size with a similar level of detail and control over it, which is especially useful in post-production. The Nikon D810 comes in at just under £2,700 for its body only, and it's out on July the 17th. It's got the same megapixel count as sensor and the same 51 autofocus points as its predecessor, but there's a lot of nice tinkering around the edges, which should make for a better camera when we get it in our test labs. Of course, when you're talking about a DSLR of this quality, it's really the fine details that matter, and that's something which our testers are gonna really be concentrating on. More on the Nikon D810, head over to witch.co.uk forward slash technology.